Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in Movie Studio 16 Platinum, and we're going to do one of those trendy effects. And you got to have some drone footage for this, right? you got to have your drone footage. But it doesn't have to be drone footage. But when you've seen this effect, a lot of times it's in those travelog videos where they have some fancy drone footage showing off the awesome locations they're in. Uh, so we're going to drag that to the video track. Like usual, we're going to go right-click and delete the picture-in-picture -picture track. It's going to get in our way for this one. And then we're going to go to Media Generators and grab Titles and Text and throw it right here. And boom, now you got some titles and text. And you can select any text you want. If you've had text installed that's not working, uh, then you will need to use the Legacy Text. I have a tutorial about how to add that. Um, but this is kind of just a text that I use a lot. Trendy travel blog. Uh, blog. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm going to center that and I want to bold it. Yeah, I'm going to bold it. And then um, I'm going to make it bigger and more like more like that there we go so now I've got my trendy travel blog text and this I want it to be see-through so there's actually several different ways you can do this some people use a, you might see someone use a multiply mask or they might green screen the text those are all viable ways to do it and there are certain advantages to them but most of the time they're completely unnecessary because all you have to do is now that you've got text over your video just go to in your media generators if you ever get out of this if you ever lose your media generators just hit this media generators button and you're back in it this is where we did our edits and you just could change your text color to see through right here this is your transparency bar just grab this drop it all the way to see through and you're like now nah, I can't see anything that's okay go to your uh, advanced and then your background make that not see through boom now you have see through text that simple and uh, you can change this color to anything you want. If you want it to be purple for any reason, or blue, Windows Movie Maker blue. Um, you can just give yourself give yourself whatever whatever color you're looking for, and there you go. Now you got your Trinity Travel Blog text, and you can fade it out, and you can fade it out differently by right clicking the fade. So all I did was grab the top left hand corner, and I created a fade by pulling it left it gives you this symbol right here and then you can right click that and you can change your fade type very simply and also you can you can really easily just just um, make your text bigger so to do that if you want to do the thing where the text actually blows up and goes over the screen to do that you just need to hit this little clock button by scale and so you want to leave it readable for a little while so uh, make sure this little button selected so where you can see what you're doing over here this this makes sure that where you select in this little miniature timeline is where you're selecting in the big timeline uh, give it some time to to be readable and then hit create keyframe that that way you have a new keyframe there and here at the end of it and you can move these keyframes around too to if you want it to be longer or shorter here at the end of it we want to create another keyframe and I want to go to the scale I'm going to make this a little smaller if you need some room. Uh, go to the scale thing, and then I want to make that scale go too off the charts. And so now when we watch it back, it's going to be a little laggy because this is a little bit more of a complicated effect for it to do. But see, boom, it zooms in like that and fades out. And, you know, obviously you can change the position of it or the size of it. To, to get this effect to work more like you want it to. And when we do the zoom in, it's a little bit more, there we go, through the letters there. So there's all sorts of options for this, and you can really animate any of these effects on the, on the, um, anything with a clock by it is something you can animate. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing your trendy text, but that has been Trendy Travel Cutout Text with Movie Studio 16 Platinum. Thank you so much for watching. All of my Patreon supporters, thank you guys. You guys have access to this footage uh, in our little our little but growing uh, rights-free footage library that you can, you can have. Um, this is one of some more drone footage that I'm being given for the project, so thank you guys so much. 
Uh, anything by the affiliate links helps us out. We have lots more tutorials like this coming out. Anything you want, just text, uh, message me below. I'll put it on the list. I have a huge list. I'm sorry, but I'm working very hard to get through this. This is one of the 50 videos. It's, I'm obviously behind on getting these 50 videos out, but I do plan on getting the 50 videos out for the marathon in the middle of March. I hope to hit that, hit that staple. I'm working on a documentary on Codex, so keep that in mind too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.